Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got some special guests joining us today. Yes, indeed. We have Stacey Tisdale. Welcome back. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, I'm going to mess up your last name. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, you're you went over it 20 times. Hey, you did it right. All That's right. good. I've been practicing. You told me, and I've been practicing. <laughs> Say it again. Yes. No, I'm not saying it again. I got it right the first time. Ejoma. <laughs> Ejoma. Yeah, the I is like an E. Ejoma. Mm-hmm. Ejoma. 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 Well, welcome. Ejoma. Happy New Year. Ejoma. Ejoma. <laughs> now tell us how to make this money. They say you help people make money. Tell us how to make All right, this money. Down, yes. Wait, 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 I'm like, can I go? Let's yeah, go. Yeah. Tell us how to make this money. So, okay, so my name is Terry. I teach people how to invest in stocks for income. And I'm so excited because I feel like people are ready for this now. Like 2020, everybody realized their finances weren't quite in order. Then 2021, they were like, okay, let me start paying off my debt a little bit, maybe invest long term. And now 2022, they're like, you know what? I got a little bit of savings. I have a little bit um, in, like ready to invest, but I don't know what to do with it. So that's where I come in. Okay. But what did you learn first? What did you learn all of this? Because this is stuff that, you know, like, you know, Charlemagne and I were talking behind the scenes. They teach this to our kids now, but mm-hmm. we didn't have that knowledge. So where did you learn? How did you get into the love of of, of stocks and making money? Honestly, I, I'm, I'm similar. I was born with single mother. We didn't know all this stuff either, but I went to a program in high school called LEAD. And it was where they took kids from all, the, all over the U.S. that had good PSAT scores and then took us to business schools. So I went to Northwestern University, and they took us to the Chicago Stock Exchange. So my senior year, I had learned at Northwestern. Then Google had their IPO. And when they had their IPO, I I asked everybody. I asked my mom. I asked my teachers. Nobody knew how to invest. And the shares were $83 a share. IPO, imagine that. Man, like now they're almost $3,000. Like my whole life would have been different if we had known how to invest. Mm Mm-hmm. So that got me excited. Then I went to MIT and said, well, I'm going to figure this out myself because nobody knew how to do it. Mm-hmm. Went to MIT. So you never invested in Google? I did. Not till now. I mean, <laughs> we wouldn't be sitting here. Well, well, she now, doesn't have to sit here anyway. But we wouldn't uh-uh. be sitting here. And we didn't have money either. So my and it's so much like, more accessible now, too, with all these apps that make it a lot easier for people to be able to trade, too. Definitely. And they don't have uh, costs now. Mm-hmm. So now you can get in without the high commission fees. Even when I first started, like it still cost you $5 to get in and trade, $5 mm-hmm. to get out. That was the low end. Now it's free. So you can trade for free. There's no no barrier to entry now. Mm-hmm. And you got a whole sea change here, especially in our community. And that's what's so exciting. Um you have 60% of blacks under 40 now invested in the stock market. And Charlemagne was just saying how his daughter's learning about stocks in school. Mm-hmm. And you have you know 40% of blacks say, you know, we talk about stocks now. And only 10% said that they did that when they were younger. So there's this whole shift, cha- yeah. shift going on. And mm-hmm. as Angela mentioned, it's technology made things accessible. And the gap is closing now. Yeah, the investment gap closed in the in millennial generation. It's really making history. The markets have been such a story that people are attracted to them. You have, you know, every day we see stocks rising and rising and rising. So we're starting this whole Invest in You campaign, which we'll talk more about, Take Your First Trade Challenge, because we have participation now, but now we have to add education to right, that and, and teach people how the market works. And then we can really, particularly our community causes, see change if mm-hmm. we just collect our forces and move them together. But I'm glad we're talking about this today because one, I was the first black and the first woman to report from the New York Stock Exchange way too long ago. And a lot of y'all new investors have never seen a bear market before. Yeah. And we don't want you freaking out and pulling out in the bear market. So um, it's really important that we're having this conversation now. That's why I'm excited, too, because a lot of people were scared coming into the last couple of weeks of like the first couple of weeks of January coming into 2022. The markets have been down. And if people are invested in stocks or crypto, they're they're hurting. Right. And so now I think they're scared. And then like seven is. People, black people are seven times more likely to pull out when it's bad. I've been yeah. really, and you see all Panic these articles selling. that really scare you. They'd be like, Bitcoin is crashing. You know, we don't know how long this is going to be around. And then some people mm-hmm. doubt it. Other people have gotten rich off of it and been able to utilize it. So, yeah. yeah you, okay. you make an interesting point. I remember Ariel Investments did a story, a uh, study. Black people are seven more times more likely to panic sell in a falling market. And that's when we got to just step back 
and look at where that comes from. Black people, a lot of people, not your daughter, but a lot of people are first time investors. Mm -hmm. And we have much higher responsibility financially for our family members and for friends. So you feel like you have to protect that. And just a lot of nervousness. And we have this history with, you know, a system designed against us. So we don't really trust the financial markets. So while we're, you know, we're excited and seizing this moment, you still have only about 30% of all the black families in this country invested in stocks. Yeah. And we need to change that because otherwise our numbers aren't going to add up. Is it time to buy when you see everything falling? Yes. That's what Warren Buffett says. she, she, She... makes knows how to make money when the market's going down which right. is really interesting that's the key so one a lot of black people only think that you can make money in the stock when they're going up but you can actually make a lot of money when it's coming down that's called short selling mm-hmm. and it's the same thing of I, i'm a teacher i came i used to be assistant principal of elementary school so <laughs> forgive me if i just teach but um like everybody says buy low sell high you can act you can act, you can actually do that in other order like you can sell high first and then buy low second and still make the difference. Same thing. That's called short selling. Mm-hmm. So a lot of us just don't know that. So we get into these times like the last couple of weeks and we panic because we don't know that you can make money on the way down. How is everybody making money right now? Like everybody is making money right now. The prices of everything is going so damn high. When does when, does when you say everybody, what do you mean? Everybody who's investing in stock, I, oh, okay, I see okay. everybody making money. That everybody's talking about they invest in stock, they make money. They invest in Bitcoin, they make money. But it has to get to a point where somebody has to lose, you know. And with the government talking about next year they're going to raise interest rates to stop mm-hmm. inflation yeah. and all that, how does that affect the stock market? And what what do you tell people now? Yes, that's why I think that people need to learn how to short sell. So I'm an active investor, which helps me have more control over my portfolio. Mm-hmm. So like yesterday, to your point of everybody's making money, like. Yesterday, I made thousands, but yesterday I made $46,000 because I was able to short sell. Well, we made money going up, and then on the way down before that, we made money going down. But people need to learn how to short sell. I think that's important. Also, with inflation going up, I think that that was a... That was a fear in the beginning of the market or like the beginning of the it's year. It's priced in already. But that's, yes. I think now, once people f- realize that the interest rates are going up, yes, companies are going to have more expenses. So mm-hmm. that's going to be hard for them. But I still think that many of the companies can rise because we're already down 40 and 50% from where they were at all-time mm-hmm. highs. Mm-hmm. Could you walk us through a short sell? Yes. <laughs> so, so let me give you an example. Like say you borrowed my cell phone. Um, I don't have my cell phone with me, but say you borrowed my cell phone mm-hmm. and then you sold it to DJ Envy for $1,000. Mm-hmm. Now you go on eBay and you find the same phone for $500. Well, you sold it for 1000 you sold it high, but then you bought it back low for 500 you got to keep $500. Does okay. that make mm-hmm. sense? Mm-hmm. But all in one day? You can do it over time. Or, okay. It's trading just the same way you can trade in a But it's the same day. exact stock that you, okay. Yeah. So like, for example, if a lot of people were in Tesla recently, if they had sold at twelve hundred dollars and then when it came back down to a thousand, they could make that difference. But oftentimes we as as black people or everybody just think the only way you can do it is get in at a thousand sixty eight and then get and out. And then you pay 12. taxes, right? You when do you- pay taxes, but it's the same as you pay taxes on any job. Mm-hmm. So like I, I paid myself a salary from my course. They took out forty one percent. Right. So Trust no me, we, we know our taxes up here are, right. are crazy. So no but let me ask you this, but you can reinvest taxes. back. If you reinvest and don't take it out of the stock market and put it somewhere else, then you don't have to pay taxes. Is that How does that work? Well, that's the same for real estate. Like mm-hmm. if you yeah, sell, real, yeah, real estate yeah. is like that. You could buy a house, sell as long as you put it back into another property. You ain't got to pay tax at that moment. Exactly. But with stocks, you do still have to pay. Like oh, you got to pay realized, Any realized gains, yeah. you're going to have to pay taxes on. You pay tax on what you mm-hmm. earn. But I think just to take a step back for a second... There's a difference between trading and investing. And a lot of us, we talk about the stock market, and I've always talked about the stock market as a great long-term investment, which it is over time averaged about 10% a year, which means like if you would have invested $100 at the start of this pandemic and left it alone and not added anything else to it, it would have been $180. A general rule of thumb for investing is that any money that you will not need in five years or less should be in stocks and you should look at it long term and that's when you want to build like a comfortable retirement and create financial security trading what terry is talking about is very different and that's where we need 
you know, people like her and people with her skills to walk us through that. She actually gives people a trading plan and a risk yeah. management plan. And I think that's why her course has sold over $40 million, you know, made over $40 million in sales. But investing is different. And I still think it's really important for people to understand how the markets work and, you know, see them as a long term investment and just be educated and use every opportunity like these conversations yeah. to learn about Your course stuff. made over $40 million in sales? It did. I'm the wow. number one investing course on Teachable. Well, number one course, period, out of hundreds of thousands of courses, and it's on investing, how to invest for income. Let me ask you, Rich, ask a question, right? <laughs> um, for the average listener that's listening right now, our audience, and they want to invest, right? I think I read a study where it's like over 50% of all Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. How do they do that? So I think that there's prerequisites to when you start investing versus trading. Okay. I think as a tr- as an investor, so like I saw you all had EYL and Market Mondays yeah. and Wall Street Trapper. Ian, like I, Wall Street yeah, Trap, yeah. Love all of them. When you're And they teach long-term investing. When you're investing, you can invest with any amount. Like if you have $100, hey, go buy SOXL or AMD, whatever. Educational purposes only, not recommended stuff. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> <laughs> gotta say that. <laughs> disclaimer. But if you're a trader, you're going to have to try to make a percentage of the cash you have. So I try to teach people to make one percent of their cash amount. So I think you do need about two thousand dollars in your account. That's why I said now in 2022, I feel like people are ready. I feel like they've done the long term investing and now they have some money saved up and they want to make that work versus just putting it in a savings account. So then it's like, okay, well, how do I pay for the things that I want versus the things that I just have to settle for? So, for example, how do you pay for, I saw y'all had change for change. Mm-hmm. How do you pay for your rent going up because of inflation? How mm-hmm. do you pay for, a guy had a uh, it had a hurricane, there was a Hurricane Ida, mm-hmm. yeah. and you guys gave him money. Well, how do you pay for emergencies or daycare? I saw one of the girls, she had like $1,800 she was paying for daycare. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you trade the money you have to mm-hmm. pay for those things? Mm-hmm. So I do think it takes, you have to start with money, at least 2000 in your account. And then your goal as a trader is going to be to make 1% of that on a regular basis. I'm glad you said that because a, a lot of people just think you can, I don't know what they think, but you got to have money to even do these things. For trading, yes. Yes. For, for investing. For investing, you I mean, you, anything. You can, there's apps now that mm-hmm. you can invest Long term. Mm-hmm. Um, when it comes to trading, a lot, you're hearing all these stories of people hearing like get rich quick, the whole GameStop thing. And they're doing things like taking out credit card debt and spending their whole life savings to try to get in on this trading thing. One, you should never do it without an education or a guide. Yeah, getting all and also never trade more money than you can afford to lose. Like and gambling. Th- it's like it's it's it yeah. is like gambling. So we should talk about how to make it not gambling. Yeah, you know, there are ways to protect your risk, but a lot of people just don't know about them. Oh, okay. please so, break that down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. a big part of my trade and travel class is risk management. First step is I'm a technical analysis trader, so I'm not just betting on something or not even use the word bet, but investing it's in something. It's not just a tip and you're like, let's go. Right. Yeah. My grandmama said at the mm-hmm. barbershop, we should, or, you know, like <laughs> no. It's actually looking at healthy companies. So first, that's one big part of it. What companies are you investing in? Then we have to look at reward to risk ratio. So I'm looking at te- at charts. I am a technical analysis trader. I hear a lot of people say like, oh, charts are too hard. I don't look at that. But if you want to have high probability, y'all know I'm an MIT girl. Mm-hmm. Like we like did y'all ever see the movie 21? 21. 21. It was about an MIT group that went and card counted, and then they. Oh, made a I whole did bunch see that. Money. Yes, I did. In Vegas, it was. It came out a long time ago. I saw that. But like one of the things he says is he's like, we don't gamble. We just take really high probability, like like calculated moves, and that's what we're doing with charts. That's how you get more high probability calculated trades. So looking at your reward to risk in advance, you can actually calculate on a chart. When I get into this trade, the probability that I do well is three times. My reward is three times my risk. So that's one thing to calculate in advance. Then the other part of it is there's something called a stop loss, like being able to put in mm-hmm. um, a stop If it drops to order. a certain. Yes. And that says, and I know you have an investing club, yeah. so you know this. But if it drops to a certain place, you can get out of the mm-hmm. trade. I think a lot of people are getting into stuff with no exit strategy. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, and it's an automatic thing too. Like once it gets to this certain point, it'll pull out. You yes. can, it'll let you know to pull out. Exactly, because the thing is, when it starts falling, your emotions are going to be all over the place, and you're not <laughs> going to want to pull out. You're going to feel like if I just ignore it, the loss will go away. 
the red will go away if I just don't look at it, you know? <laughs> but no, if you have that stop loss in in advance, you can calculate how much you're willing to lose. It's amazing. I remember um, the first time I was with you guys, probably like about three years ago, and we just we st- were talking about the messaging and the mindset in the black community that you have to be rich to invest. And we talked about um, apps and stuff. Then now I'm just listening. This is real, real technical stuff that we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And the fact that we've come this far and that we can have these conversations or people are interested in these conversations yeah. is very awesome. And um, yeah. part and Terry, of it's because of the stuff we've been talking about here. And Terry's living proof because trade and travel came from you traveling and trading. Yeah. So can you talk about that? Yes, I was... The crying in in the bathroom as a teacher. (laughs) I was in education. My last job before I quit was assistant principal of elementary school, but I was miserable. And I feel like a lot of people probably know what it feels like to be in a job where you hate it, but Mm -hmm. you feel like you have to go because there's nothing else. Like, how else will you make money? Or you've been doing it for so long. Like, I thought that was the only skill that I had. But my boss was crazy. She would nitpick, nitpick about the littlest things, like the... Uh, microwave wasn't clean. Like, I, I, I that ain't my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I control the microwave. Ask everybody. <laughs> well, you know, the fact that the microwave was dirty mean that you're not doing your job. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I decided that my exit strategy would be investing because I had learned about it in college. I had mm-hmm. learned about it in, in, in high school. Yeah. And all I needed was $300 a day to replace my income. And you started so, with, that's what's really important when we're talking about trading. She yeah. had a goal. Okay, I need to earn $300 a day. So that's how much she was going to risk. Yeah. But also, one of the things that's so touching about you is you also wanted to trade because to cover your parents' medical costs. Yeah, well, let me finish this because I want to tell you about the trade and travel. Like, I was finally able to quit my job and start traveling around the world. And people started asking me, well, how are you affording it? And it was, I was trading stocks. I would trade to pay for the hotel room. I would trade, okay, my <laughs> flight is 300 or actually, like, let's say I want to go to Greece. I'd, I'd calculate all this on Instagram. Like, if y'all f- scroll, scroll way down on Terry <laughs> Gioma, like, the, the trip to Greece was $3,500. So I traded to get there. Wow. I said, okay, this is how much the hotel room is. If I can make, you know, $400 to pay for the hotel. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to eat when I get there. So I'm going to trade to pay for the food. And, and that's how I, I traveled. And I was gone. I went to South Korea, Thailand for a month, Vietnam for a month, Australia. But all that time, just trading what I needed to pay for the travel. Wow. And now people ask me to teach them. And now I'm teaching them how do you trade for what you want mm-hmm. so that you don't have to settle for, like, there's a hotel here that I really uh, that I really wanted to stay in. And I was like, oh, man, because I'm... I'm I'm in doctrine to go for the cheapest thing. Like, well, this is the cheapest room. And Even this... though you up 40? Man, I grew up cheap. I get it. Like, no, to... I go right to the sale rack every time yeah. I go shopping. Time, the first place. Like, <laughs> if it's not on clearance, then it's not yep. for me today. I got to wait. Like, that's just how I grew up. But I really wanted to stay in this other room, so I traded for it. And then I was like, you know what? I can afford this now because I traded for it. But that's that's the same thing with the students, trading to pay for daycare, trading to pay for whatever. Like I have one student, he wants his kid in, in private school. He's trading to pay for that private school every oh. month. I love yeah. the fact that you didn't stay in a job that you hated. Because what happens is you'll grow resentment. And you was you was with kids, so you'd have been projecting all of that on those kids. So I really, I really respect that part of the story. Thank you. And I feel like I was, because I remember this one little, I had, I had mainly black black and brown. I had this one little Hispanic girl, she was the cutest. One day, she must have seen me crying in the bathroom. She came and gave me this flower that she had made in class, and wow. she just gave me the biggest hug. I, I know they saw it. Well, hopefully I was masking it good enough, mm-hmm. but... But you knew when to exit, though. Yeah. That's and why you're a good trader. You, you Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And honestly, those skills helped you develop a course as well. Mm-hmm. You know what? The biggest things that helped me develop the course were my mistakes. When I first quit my job and was traveling full time, I'm not going to pretend like it went well all the time. Like when I first quit, I had my biggest loss ever. I invested in Pandora and Pandora stock just went straight down. But at the time, everybody says, invest with what you know. And I was, it was on my phone and Pandora was going inside of the uh, TV. And this is like Pandora stock is not around anymore because they sold to Sirius XM. So, right. mm-hmm. so you can do this. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but like every, like I woke up overnight, I had traded earnings thinking I was going to be rich the next day, woke up the next day and I had lost 26000 in a day. 
Ooh. Dang. And and for an educator, like I didn't have a ton of money, so I was crying thinking I had to go back to work. And the thing was, I I realized all the things I had done wrong. My quantity size was too high. This is back to risk management. Mm-hmm. Quantity size. I had 8,000 shares. And the thing was, I thought I was going to be rich the next day. So 8,000, oh, if I make a dollar, mm-hmm. I got no, yeah. but I, I lost. Mm. And so overnight, it was down $3. I'm down $24,000. So that, that first lesson is don't uh, do what you can't afford to lose. Yes, and watch your quantity size. And like your quantity size. In, in mm-hmm. the course, I actually have a formula. How do you calculate your quantity size? Then another thing that I did wrong was um, not having the stop loss. It fell, and I didn't have any protection. Mm-hmm. Then I didn't have a plan of, okay, when I didn't even have a target in mind. So once it started falling, I just flipped out. I right. called my mom, was like, I'm going to have to get a job again. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I just let it go, and it kept falling. That's so what you have to watch out for. And you start thinking maybe it's going to go plan. back yeah. up. Right. <laughs> That's why you need a trading plan so that you're not managed by your guts and emotion, but you mm-hmm. know the steps. The biggest money, hopefully more will come another day, but the biggest money flow I had in my life was when I worked at a technology firm and they gave us stock options. Mm-hmm. I remember overnight I was like a millionaire on paper and these options went to whatever, but I, and I wasn't familiar with them. But I had no plan in place, and it started dropping and dropping, and you just get that mentality, oh, it'll go back up, oh, it'll mm-hmm. do whatever, yeah. went to nothing. There's a lot of people that are, that's that's happening to them right now, especially with crypto, mm-hmm. and even some stocks, they've, they've been told so long to just buy and hold, which is, over time, a good strategy. But what, what do you do for your life right now? You're rich mm-hmm. on paper, but you're broke in your real life. And that's why trading is important because we can help you to fund things in your life right now while the other things are still working. How much is your course? It's five thousand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have a VIP eight week program that's five thousand, but you can get in for half of that at twenty five, and we have payment plans. Now I saw something, and correct me if I'm wrong. You made over sixteen thousand people millionaires. Or is that just no, okay. all together, we've all those sixteen thousand people in the course are making millions, gotcha, and they gotcha. actually like show us screenshots of how their realized profit, and and they're like showing us. So we have this thousand dollars in a day club. If they make over a thousand dollars in a day, they send us their screenshots, send us their trade, and then we send them a plaque. So we know that we've had over sixteen hundred in that club that we've like sent plaques to, and many more that just haven't sent in the the screenshots. So we know if you got even a thousand people making a thousand dollars in a day, then that's a million dollars that we can generate in a day from trade and travel. Now, yeah, for people who are like, this is expensive. Can you explain why it's worthwhile? Because the classes that I took were thirty thousand dollars. So the actual investing knowledge is actually really expensive. This is a discount to that. So when you look at the like what other classes are out there, and some people will say, well, what about YouTube? Some, my granny told me sometimes you have to pay for convenience. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, you can go to YouTube, but it might take you a lot of time. You may not know what exactly you need. What's You're getting true, too not. much information. Yep. Yeah, what's true, what's not. So this is all into one class. I've already detailed out what you need in terms of how do you pick the right company? What's the mm-hmm. risk management? How do you do charting? How do you do short selling to make money on the way down? How do you do gaps in Globex? How do you trade options? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, everything's in there. So it's actually it's actually not much when you look at the other courses out there, and then think about how much you can actually make. Right. A lot of the students within a couple you can months trade to pay, pay for themselves it. back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I asked you about the sixteen thousand because those success stories are important because people will hear that number and be like, "Well, she made forty million dollars. Who is she made rich? She's just hustling." Yeah. Yeah. Well, and several of them have become millionaires. I do know some that I have made millions, but I just don't. I don't want to say like I don't want to say, "Oh yeah, I made mm-hmm. a whole bunch of millionaires." No. I've taught a lot of people how to make three hundred dollars in a day, two hundred dollars in a day, pay for which their is good day. money. And it's about yeah. those goals, and like you do have to do the work yeah. too. Mm-hmm. You you can't take the course and not do the work. Yeah. Goals and freedom, and I know when you first started trading, one of your goals was that you're like, your mother couldn't afford anesthesia. Oh yeah, back to what? Yes, yeah. the dignity. So, um, anybody here had to ever do a, a like really expensive medical thing? Like what, pre- operation? Pay for an operation or yeah. procedure? What for my mom, it was her dental work. She had to get like oh, all yeah, her yeah. teeth taken out, and it was really expensive. Mm-hmm. I've paid for dental work. Yeah, uh, yeah. Most insurance only cover, I think, like maybe a thousand dollars for clean yeah. or, or for root canal or. We talk about cosmetic. That cosmetic. If you pay for somebody's cosmetic, it costs a lot. That's that. Yeah, that's out the pocket. But either well, cosmetic and just like she was in pain. Mm-hmm. 
But the doctor had told her that they were going to do the surgery without anesthesia. Or, Ooh. Yeah. Because, no way. Not, not because that. Because they thought she couldn't afford it. They were like, oh, well, you know, anesthesia is going to cost you like an extra $500. And this is like, I, I, I don't want to generalize, but the, the nurse was basically telling Jesus. my mom, like, well, you can't get this surgery because you can't afford it. And my mom, because I had actually given her money for her medical bills, was able to say, no, that's fine. I'm going to get all four of them done at one time. <laughs> and she told me, Terry, she called me something else, but she told me, Terry, money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you dignity. Mm. I was able to be in that chair and and speak up for myself because I could afford the surgery when she wasn't even going to give me the proper care right. because she yep. thought I couldn't afford it. And it's about freedom, too. Mm-hmm. Freedom. That's how you get free. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I see what you said, Terry. Uh, when it comes to blacks and investing, you say it's about dignity, rights, and even our health. Yes. So it's all based on that story? It is. Well, okay. for me, it's based on being able to get out of a job that I hated because I think that like I said, a lot of people are stuck because they feel like they have no other option. So mm-hmm. that freedom comes from I have another income source that I can use. And then after that, the next passion for me right now is health care. I really do feel like a lot of people can't afford the health care that they need and mm-hmm. they need an extra income. Even like I had a lot of students that were trading during COVID and it helped them like still be able to have their job because mm-hmm. or still be able to afford things when they couldn't work on their job. Um, How yeah. time consuming is it to to trade it depends what your goal is so if your goal is to make two hundred dollars in a day and your account size is okay you might be done in 15 minutes Mm -hmm. but i do say people should especially in the beginning you should budget at least four hours a day if you can't do that like as you start getting better and better it'll go down like some people they'll do one hour in the beginning of the market and they'll trade that or they'll trade that last hour of the market I do think, like, when I was an educator, I would look at my phone in the beginning of the day. Mm-hmm. I'd go do whatever I had to do as a principal, come back, check it at, because you can trade on your phone. I would check it at lunchtime. That didn't take long. And then um, at the end of the day at night, before I went to bed, that's where I would do my real homework of looking at the stocks, looking at the news, looking at the charts. And then I'd be ready for the next day. Right. So when they open in the morning, you know what you want. Yep. I know what I'm going to do. Ultimate side hustle. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Exactly. Exactly. So what's the call to action? I know we're here for a call to action today. I'm going to teach people how to actually get invested and take the first trade. Okay. Because I feel like there's a lot of people that are just scared. And they haven't done it yet. And they're looking for like, okay, I need somebody to, like a teacher to like walk me through step Mm -hmm. by step. So we're going to do a five-day challenge. Mm -hmm. And for five days live, I'm going to be with the ladies. And we're going to like teach people, okay, how do you open your account? How do you place the trade? How do you exit the trade? And this is so you can get the income. But so that when Google comes by the next person, they won't miss it like I did. They'll know how to actually get in and out. Yeah, the actual challenge, it starts January 31st, and you can go to TakeYourFirstTrade.com and start signing up now. And it's a five-day challenge. And like Terry said, we're gonna, the first day you're going to learn how to open up an account. Mm-hmm. Then we're going to teach you a little bit about the markets on the second day. Then you're going to learn how to buy a stock, learn a little bit more. And on the fifth day, you're actually going to sell a stock. So the point of the challenge is to take people through the process to help, you know, the 70 percent of people in our community who aren't investing get over that fear and have enough education to trade. And does it cost anything to sign up for the five day challenge? It actually does. It costs fifty five dollars. OK. Yeah. $55. We made it super, super low. But we wanted to make sure that people did do some investment because you 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 actually are more dedicated when you pay something than mm-hmm. if you don't do it. They anything. say that about online dating, too. <laughs> they definitely well, well, give me your website again so people can get in touch with you and maybe they want the full course you know yeah if you want the whole trade and travel course go to trade and travel.com trade and travel yep. but if you want to get started with this five-day challenge which i'm doing too by the way We're all, all i'm, I'm more it. of a long-time investor so i haven't done trading so. i think you're gonna love it and and you don't have to have all of your money in one or the other. You can do both. Right, yeah. yeah. So just I take a be little diverse. bit out, and then you can learn how to make some income with a little bit of it. And as you become a better trader, then you can decide to move more there. What's the website again? Takeyourfirsttrade.com. Yeah, and, that, and you will learn how to take your first trade.com. And to Angela's point, this isn't about either or when it comes to stock market investing. Stock market is still a much better place for your money than a savings account, particularly the money that you're retiring with and trying to create financial security with but do f- go through your budget figure out where you have this extra money to trade 
and it can be your ultimate side hustle and give you the freedom to take care of yourself, take care of your family, and live on, live out your dreams. Yeah. And if you want to see more about me, yeah, everything is on trade and travel. So YouTube, trade and travel, Instagram, trade and it, it's trade T R A D E and all spelled out travel on Instagram too. I actually put I made a million dollars in a day, so I put up the screenshot of that too, so they can see how you do that in Instagram. All right, I'm in. Wow. We're in. Yeah. <laughs> So are you guys going to take your first trade challenge? I am. And you said we should have at least $2,000, right? I got somebody that does yeah, it for me. Yeah, saved up. You yeah. know what? I, you know what it is? I'll be honest with you, right? I always feel like I go to professionals to do something. So I hire people to do certain things, right? Because I can't watch it. Like, I got too many things. So I hire people to look at my stocks. I hire people to look at real estate. I hire people to do different things because I don't have the time. But that's more and of an investing than a trading. This I, is this is new. You're right. Uh, so I'm making money. Yeah, Hopefully. all the, the mm -hmm. whole thing about the stock market is, you know, do your long term investing and leave the trading for the professionals. But everything changed as, you know, trading became more mainstream and technology changed everything. And people are trading now. And now the what they have to do is do it with some education, mm -hmm. do it with some guidance. And that's why when people hear things like five thousand dollars for a course and think of it as school, you're actually yeah. learning you know how to trade like that because there's so many people like get people. Like that's the reason why we even started doing the uh, the real estate seminars because it, people were charging people so much money, mm -hmm. but not yeah. teaching them stuff. You know what I mean? And then saying, okay, after you get to this point, you need another thousand dollars for this, right. and then yeah. another. And that's right. why we started teaching people how to do real estate the way that we do it. And we not char we charge ninety nine dollars, and we just really only charging for the venue. And it's yeah. a great it's a great thing. What and, you're and, doing with real estate you, investing? I know is you great. get a lot of people that charge people a lot of money and don't really get them give them anybody and, and i'm sure people yeah. come to you and be like i went to this person's course and i learned nothing mm -hmm. and that's it wasn't what, that's organized. The, they that's didn't what makes talk me happy nothing. so much when they say they come they go to another person's course and learn nothing and then they come to your course and be like i learned so much yes that's why i'm excited that i have so many students that i have because it's word of mouth most mm -hmm. of the people take the class they start making money then they tell their other family like we have one family, 18 other family are in my class because wow. the grandmother started then that's told dope. all the kids yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's you're you're right. It's that's all about word of mouth, and if they if your course is good, like it's supposed to be, then that's actually why like mine is number one. And one of the reasons we partnered with you with TakeYourFirstTrade dot com is because one of the big things we do with Wealth Wednesdays is we vet, yeah, you know, resources that mm -hmm. we're going to recommend, and our name's on the line. <laughs> Our name is on the line. So right. uh, Terry is just such an example of what investing can do. She's living her best life and she's paying it forward. She doesn't have to do this. We had a nice conversation the other day. I was asking her, why is she doing this? I was looking at this $40 million house that she's renting in Puerto Rico and she's building <laughs> another one. And I'm like, why are you still doing this? And she was like, this is my fun. There yeah, you go. this is my ministry. I, I went to seminary. She's, yeah, the, you got a preacher here. So I feel like this is my minister, or my ministry, who I can actually help. Well, leave us on a prayer. Want me to pray for real? Absolutely. And don't uh, turn down no too. prayer. <laughs> don't money in there, too. Don't add on you Wait, no let money. Me get the tray. Let me you get pray the whatever's tray. on your heart. But you, but you can throw I some just, money in there, too. We got it. Well, real quick, dear Heavenly Father, I just pray for everybody who is listening and under the sound of my voice. Lord God, please, Lord, just continue to bless them with wisdom, bless them with understanding, Lord, and then just... Your, your word says that you will be everything that we need. You will supply everything that we need. So, Lord, I just ask that everybody lean on you and then continue to bless them uh, financially, health, security, just everything. In Jesus' name, we dearly pray. Amen. 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 Well, thank you and for take your first trade. Thank you so much. Com. Terry Ajiyama, Stacey Tisdale, my partner in Wealth Wednesdays. In We're getting ready to start this trading and make this money. All right. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Good morning.